what's going on guys welcome back to some more videos and in today's video what happens when an open male pro bodybuilder hits a vacuum on stage you get one of the most insane illusions you will ever see in bodybuilding it is a sight and is a rare sight of that because i can count off uh on my hand the amount of open men bodybuilders uh who actually pull off a vacuum in today's day and age of bodybuilding like who do we have patrick moore luke sandow um i guess Derek lunsford but he's 212 you know and it's kind of debatable but i'll throw Derek lunsford inside there uh, Juan Morel hits a really good vacuum, but he doesn't do it on stage. He does it in his Instagram videos. I don't know why he doesn't do it on stage. It looks insane. I wish uh, Juan did hit that vacuum, but I can't really count him because he doesn't hit it on stage. And I guess you can throw a roller wrinkle in the mix because he hits crazy vacuums. So, oh, Hardy Chupan. Hardy hits a crazy vacuum as well, but, you know, that's it. You know, we have, like, six guys currently competing in the circuit. One's a 212 guy, by the way. Uh, who can hit a really impressive vacuum and it's kind of a lost art you know we do have the classic physique division that's kind of bringing it back and uh, it's really cool to see the vacuum in that division but there's something special about a guy weighing 270 280 plus pulling off a vacuum because the silhouette is dumb you have these stupid insane 22 plus inch arms going into this small little waist because of the illusion of the vacuum with these stupid sweeping quads it is one of the most insane illusions ever and Roller Winkler was actually a guy who was criticized heavily for his gut he actually had a bubble gut it was actually insane and over the years he's actually been able to reverse it and now do the complete opposite and pull off a vacuum so instead of his gut sticking out is being sucked in that's that's actually insane and you also have to consider the fact that this guy is an open pro bodybuilder uh, he's weighing 280 plus on stage condition. That's insane. So if you don't know about bodybuilding, there's a thing called peak week, right? During the process of peak week, you're going to try to pull the water, maybe pull the salt, depending on what you want to do with your physique, and you're going to carb load. Carb load involves hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carbs between X Monday. Actually, some, some people probably do thousands of carbs in X Monday days. Rolly Winkler being as big as he is, I'm sure he needs a lot of food and a lot of carbs to fill out that frame. So for him to compete, I'm sure he's going to try to come in as full as possible, meaning consume a ton of food, thus obviously giving him that big full illusion, but he's still pulling off a vacuum. That is, that is insane, man. I commend this man for doing that. I really wish that more open male pro bodybuilders actually pull this off. I'd love to see Sean Roden. Yo, Sean Roden with a vacuum. I would love to see um well phil heath but i don't think that's gonna happen but i love to see phil heath pulling off like it, it just looks insane and the, the illusion man like if if a guy has a big waist and he does a vacuum it literally makes his waist look small luke sandow who pulls off a vacuum he does not have a small waist but when he sucks his vacuum in and does a front double bicep oh my god it is an insane silhouette even for a guy that has a thick waist it works on every single physique, especially if you have a small physique. Oh, wow. Like so game over, no contest. Like it, it, the illusion is dumb. So shout out to Roller Winkler for bringing it back and bringing the 90s, 80s, 70s into modern day 2019 bodybuilding. It's a crazy sight to be seen. And hopefully more uh, open male bodybuilders will definitely uh, take a page or Roller book and uh, bring this to the stage. So quick video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, comment down below. And subscribe. Made a thing. Sub down below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.